welcome everyone here this evening to all of our graduating students, their families, their friends, and all the assembled friends of Broome <laughs> Community College. My name is Jim Kerrig. I'm chairman of the board of trustees of BCC. And I might add, a very proud alumnus of Broome Community College, class of 1958. I would like to welcome each and every one of you to our 49th commencement. And I'm going to divert just a tad from the script at this moment. And uh, I gave Charlie Qualiata uh, a start a few moments ago when I told him I was going to do this, but he's, he's recovering nicely. <clears throat> I just wanted to say to, uh, to all of you that this is my last commencement at BCC as chairman of the board. I've had three wonderful years as chairman, and I'm now in my eighth year as a member of the Board of Trustees. I will be stepping down as a member of the Board of Trustees at the end of August this year. Uh, my wife, uh, Loretta, and I, who's in the audience this evening, we built a home in uh, Pinehurst, North Carolina, uh, a retirement home and uh, we'll be spending a good part of the year down there, and it makes it just physically impossible for me to continue as a board member. But this has been one exhilarating and wonderful experience for me, and being chairman of the Board of Trustees of one of the finest, if not the finest, community college on this planet is a great honor, and I am very, very thankful. Indeed, very honored to have had this responsibility, and uh, I wish each and every one of you here assembled this evening, and all 933 graduates of Broome Community College this year, 1997, good luck and Godspeed. Now, to begin our proceedings, it's my great honor to <coughs> present to you the president of Broome Community College, Dr. Don. Certainly after he deviated from his presentation, I must deviate from mine and say that, uh, Jim, you will be uh, dearly missed on our Board of Trustees and the quality of leadership that we have on our Board of Trustees here at BCC makes my job a lot easier. There are people who really care about the college and who represent us well in the community and at the state level. And without the volunteer help that we have in terms of our board of trustees, our institution would be a much lesser institution. So Jim, we're going to miss you, but we hope you have lots of good golfing days down there in North Carolina. It is a pleasure and an honor for me to be here once again this evening. This is my 10th graduation at BCC. At this time, I would like to welcome you to this year's Broome Community College commencement. I am pleased to be presiding over this celebration for our graduates and your family and your friends. We at BCC congratulate each graduate and wish you the best your future endeavors. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all of those who support the college in so many different ways, especially the BCC Board of Trustees, the county sponsor, Groom County, SUNY trustees, alumni, and others who make the educational process here at the college possible. Thank you also to David Masler and the faculty and staff on the graduation committee who spent so many hours planning this commencement program. Believe me, there aren't very many details about the program that are left to chance. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of work. I appreciate and thank all of those who work on our behalf, and not least of whom is Charlie Quayata, who really enjoys working on the detail of these kinds of organizations. 
and believe me, I drive him crazy about the details, making sure that everything is all set. Thank you, Charlie, and thank you to the committee for your hard work.
Some examples. Michael Stockton is graduating tonight. is from Rochester, New York. He moved to Broome County to enroll in our physical therapy assistant program and to play on our varsity hockey team. Tonight, he receives two degrees in physical therapy and individual studies. Michael will now relocate to Orlando, Florida, where he has accepted a job with NovaCare. Congratulations to Michael and all of our graduates who, with new skills, are going immediately into the workforce. Joshua Eckler tonight receives his engineering science degree and transfers to the Rochester Institute of Technology. Between RIT and Phi Theta Kappa awards, Joshua will take $17,000 in transfer scholarship money with him. Congratulations to Joshua and all our graduates who are now ready to transfer. Jason Hall has been active in student government, Phi Theta Kappa, and organizing campus activities. He also interned with Assemblyman Jay Dinga, all while pursuing his liberal arts degree. In the fall, he transfers to Buffalo University for his bachelor's degree in physical therapy. Congratulations to Jason and all our active student leaders and athletes who gave so much represent their college so well. Congratulations. Marianne Dorner had a lifelong dream of becoming an elementary school teacher. When many people would have decided not to start over, Marianne enrolled in our liberal arts program. Tonight she graduates and in the fall she goes to SUNY Cortland on a scholarship and on her way to fulfilling her dream. Congratulations to Mary Ann and all our graduates who came to PCC. <laughs> Tuan Long and his family were able to escape the hardships of life in Vietnam when the American Civic Association sponsored their immigration to the United States. Family members first learned English in our ESL programs and then continued in regular, regular academic classes. Thuan expects to graduate next year, but his two sons beat him to it. Tonight, brothers Thuan and Tu each received their liberal arts degrees. Congratulations to them and our other foreign students. Tina Wilson is from Mansfield, Pennsylvania. Married with two children, she traveled one hour and 40 minutes each way to BCC to study for the physical therapy assistance degree, which she receives tonight. Congratulations to Tina and so many of our graduates who balance family obligations, work schedules, and travel times to complete their studies and tonight enjoy the rewards of their efforts. stories out there tonight. You are from Binghamton, from Tioga County, from El Salvador, from Taiwan. You are in your teens or in your 60s. You are the diverse and successful family of Broome Community College. Each of you and all your classmates tonight join the worldwide community of over 30,000 BCC alumni. Wherever you go, please remember us. Remember where it all began and always retain that pride that you feel tonight. Congratulations to all of you. And now we have a very special commencement speaker. We are honored tonight to have, to have Dr. John Ryan, the newly appointed Chancellor of the State University of New York. 
If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time we've ever had SUNY Chancellor be a part of a BCC graduation. Welcome, Chancellor Ryan. Dr. Ryan is recognized nationally and internationally as a knowledgeable leader in higher education. He has more than 30 years experience leading the nation's top public universities. Most notably, before becoming our SUNY Chancellor, he was president of Indiana University from 1971 to 1987. Dr. Ryan has served in so many prestigious positions and published so many scholarly papers that it would take me an hour just to list them, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Suffice it to say that Dr. Ryan was very busy professionally during his career. I've had the wonderful privilege of getting to know Dr. Ryan over the last few months, last year, and I can tell you more importantly that he is a good human being with a wonderful quick wit and a sparkling intellect. We are indeed fortunate to have him as Chancellor of SUNY as we prepare for the 21st century. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming Dr. John Ryan, Chancellor of the State University. Distinguished faculty and members of the platform party, members of the class, 1997, thank you, President Dello, for that too glowing an introduction and maybe even too long. <laughs> I'm going to try to make my I'm going to try to make my commencement shorter than my introduction. I don't promise. I don't promise, but I'm going to try. And I'm going to come up with a little surprise, so get ready for it. I do thank you, all of you who are responsible for inviting me to be part of this joyful celebration. It's your celebration. Commencement is the day that we note, all of us in a formal way, the successful completion of your academic program, at least thus far. It's a day of demarcation, a day that invites us both to look back on past achievements and to look ahead to new challenges, to new dreams, perhaps. In the future, I hope that each of you will meet with continued success. Your dreams and your determination, to some extent your families, have brought you to this moment. Let these things now carry you forward to new success, new happiness. Today's ceremony invites us to reflect on the rich past and the bright future of Broome Community College. The college, as you know, celebrates its 50th year. It's most fitting that we note its invaluable contribution to the intellectual and economic life of the greater Binghamton community, indeed, of the state of New York. You graduate this evening from a distinctly American institution. Community colleges are a true innovation of American public higher education. They've even been called democracies colleges. And that is because they grow out of the uniquely American belief that higher education should be for all, not just for a privileged few. Americans also believe that higher education should be accessible to those of even the most limited means. American system of higher education is vastly different from those found in Europe or Asia where access to higher education is very limited. And nowhere is our democratic belief in higher education more manifest than in state universities community colleges. Our community colleges deliver outstanding education 
at the lowest cost possible. They guarantee admission to anyone with a high school diploma, and every community college graduate who wants to transfer will be admitted to one of State University's baccalaureate institutions. In this way, and only in this way, is the State University structured to provide maximum access to students at every economic level and at every level of academic preparedness. Even so, it takes very hard work to pursue higher learning. We know that many of you began your studies as returning students. You learned first to balance your education with work and family responsibilities, not an easy assignment. Almost half of you graduating today are 23 to 39 years old, which is very young to somebody like me, but it's quite an achievement nonetheless. One out of every nine of you is 40 years old or older. America led the way into the 20th century partly because of the widespread availability of higher education. We had the skilled workforce to fuel rapid economic growth. And now, we must lead the way into the next century. Today's workplace is one of high performance. Technological knowledge doubles every five years. Where we once could get by with strong arms and strong backs, now we need strong analytical skills and technological know-how. And that's what you find here at Broome Community College. Community colleges do perform many functions. Their most traditional role is preparing students to enter the workforce, and almost half of you graduating today plan to do just that. You will meet with success. Graduates of Broome Community College are in high demand, with most of them finding employment directly upon graduation. Finally, community colleges have taken on the responsibility of training those already in the workforce. Within the State University of New York, this college has taken a leadership role in this critical area, and its many programs serve as statewide models for this kind of activity. Room Community College has trained literally thousands of individuals in the workplace. Such training has led to creation and retention of jobs at IBM and Lockheed Martin, Amatech, Aerospace, Amphenol, Ben Hughes, to name only a few. The college is a forceful economic engine that benefits this community, and the community reciprocates. Each year, this college generates $50 million in local business activity, and much of that revenue comes from sources outside the county, particularly through state support and federal financial aid. Some of you may receive graduation presents this evening. Hope all of you do. But don't forget the priceless present, the priceless gift you receive from Broome Community College. You're entering a new status as part of the Broome Community College family, and with that new status comes responsibility. You now have the happy obligation of becoming part of the wider college community, giving back to the college in the same measure as it is given to you. You can do this through financial support. You can do this by becoming an active member of the alumni and your strong and active involvement will ensure the continued success of this very unique, this very American institution. Now, I promised you uh, a surprise. Uh, well, the first surprise is that I kept my promise that it wouldn't be long. Second, the second surprise is that I want you to be able to say what perhaps no other graduate in the country today will be able to say, and that is that you spoke at your own commencement ceremony. So I want you to repeat after me the following words. I will qualify you to be a speaker at this commencement. 
Uh, practice your vocal cords, because I mean I want you to, to say this. Uh, I am proud of my college. Of my college. I am proud of my classmates. I am proud of myself. those who follow me just as proud. I was, I was going to give you a B minus on that, but thanks for the applause. You get an A plus. God bless you. where there's so many speakers. So thank you. Thank you so much for those words about our history and the inspiration for our students. I'd like you to come up if you would, Jack. We'd like to give you something to remind you of uh, being with us this evening and sharing our graduation. Uh, we'd like to give you a copy of a print of Room Community College that we have framed, and I hope the colors match someplace in your office up there. But uh, this will remind you of the... Yeah, the colors do the producer. I hope this reminds you of your evening with us, and thank you very much for thank being you. here. Uh, some of you may have uh, read in papers the chancellor has been at uh, several different uh, graduations across the state and he just recently got back from China so he has been very busy and uh, I am very pleased and uh, truly appreciative that uh, he would come here and be with us this evening. And now some farewell comments from your fellow graduate and retiring president of the Student Government Association, Danielle Birchtower. Danielle? Thank you for all your love and support through these years. 
At this time, I'd like to ask my fellow graduates to stand up and look into the audience and find those special people who have supported us. Your parents, relatives, husbands, wives, partners, or friends.
chasms and shadows, along with a dream of your own. The awakening spirit within compels you to go forward with courage and fear at your side, to set a new carriage for eternity, which destiny cannot ignore.